Introducing the all new Corolla. The House voted 340 to 73 to pass its defense spending bill, totaling almost half a trillion dollars. 81 million of that would go for continued water and sewer improvements on Guam related to the transfer of Marines from Okinawa. Another 125 million would go for operations and maintenance to boost Army National Guard readiness and training. Congresswoman Madeleine Bordaglio sponsored another $1.1 million for the Navy Sea Cadet Program to reduce participants' out-of-pocket costs. And there's money to maintain Guam's Global Hawk Block 30 fleet. Service-wide, the bill funds efforts to deal with sexual assaults in the military as well as suicides and boosts military pay. Top Appropriations Democrat Nita Lowy of New York. A 1.8% increase for active duty pay, support for the National Guard and Reserves as well as family support programs, significant funding for cybersecurity to protect our critical infrastructure from cyber attacks. The Senate, meantime, has not passed a DOD spending bill or its spending blueprint, the National Defense Authorization Act. The body is feuding over the rights of the minority GOP to amend bills and has just sidelined a big one that funds seven agencies. The Senate Armed Services Committee would eliminate in its FY15 NDAA the $81 million for civilian infrastructure. A pending Senate appropriations bill includes key Guam missile defense report language that urges PACOM to include robust permanent ballistic missile defense, particularly on Guam. And Senate appropriators would fully fund Guam's $128 million FY15 military construction budget for facilities at Anderson Air Force Base, as did House appropriators. The big question, though, is when the Senate Appropriations Bill and NDAA will finally come to the Senate floor. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.